Hello folks, uh, today I wanted to share a video. This one is a video that I made for a customer that wanted to be able to post a QR code in, a, a, at the entry to a room in a school so that when the custodian came to the room, they would simply scan the QR code with their phone, that would open this form. Let me go ahead and do that if I open this form. And it would, it's a pre-filled um, form URL so that um, they would just scan it. They would be in room A, they would select their name A or B, and then they would submit and then the school would have a record as we come back here to our form responses. You can see on January 30th, the timestamp of the room. And so that was, uh, that was what the customer wanted to be able to track when custodians are going into rooms. And so a simple way to do that was to use these QR codes. So let's take a look at how to build a QR code. Well, first of all, let's take a look at how you get a, um, a form, pre-filled form URL, and I think we can find that here. So if we wanted to go to the three dots in a form and get a pre-filled link, so let's go ahead and do that. And if it, you know, one thing you could even do, and this, they could do in this case, is they could have a different QR code for each custodian in each room. So I'm in room A and I'm custodian A and I'm going to get the link. And that link is, uh, I can copy that link. It's copied to my clipboard. So then I could come over here to my sheet where I'm selecting these QR codes. And this is actually gonna be room A and uh, custodian, custodian A. So this QR code, and I'll go ahead and paste that QR code in there. And <clears throat> notice all these QR codes. Once you get the first QR code, you can learn how to build these, because take a look at this. This URL to this doc, to this form doc, this view form doc, they're all the same. And they're all the same all the way up to um, this part here. Uh, let, if, we, if we widen this one out, uh, now that I've done this one, so it's uh, an entry 167. Now that is the ID of the item on the form equals room A and entry 14316, that's the item of the custodian, custodian A. I have a formula here, let's take a look at that and maybe I can zoom in a little bit on that. You can see this formula. It's an image formula, but the URL is the, this URL to the chart.googleapis.com, and then you're, you're setting up the size of that um, QRO, QR code, and then you encode the URL, and of course you're encoding B3. So if we were to take this formula now that I've done it once and drag it down, I have a QR code in there, and then I would want to make this a little bit taller, because my next step then would be to take this QR code and um, be able to open up with that QR code, and uh, I, would, I would simply make a document that I would put on the door, it doesn't have to be that big, and, it, you know, and in fact it could be a document with, uh, that would say, you know, room A, room B, room C, custodian A, B, C, so forth, whatever you'd want. Let's take a look at, if we open this document, notice this is the pre-filled URL, room A, custodian A. All they need to do is click submit. So, so that saved quite a bit of time uh, for the custodian to simply come up, slap, you know, fo point their phone at a QR code, click submit, and now the school has a record of who cleaned what room when, and you'd be able to track them through their evening and see where they maybe got hung up and so forth. So again, uh, just to review, 
you can create QR codes in Google Sheets using this formula right here that you can see. I'll just leave us there for a moment. The chart.google APIs, you can probably do a Google search and find this. And it's nice to know that you can go to a form and uh, I gotta come to this one. Go to your form and three dots, get a pre-filled link. So you would also be able to use this with students to create sort of a, uh, if, if you had all your students listed and you created a pre-filled form for each student, then a student could automatically um, go to a form that you want them to work with and maybe the form splits, but if you grab a, a, a link to a pre-filled form and it's already gone by the first section, um, th that might work where you could uh, go ahead and have the students go right to where they need to be to click submit and again, save time. Um,